All right, guys, I want to show you a little trick for drum programming um, when you're making uh, MIDI loops. There's a feature in Ableton's drum racks called Extract Chain, and it's a pretty powerful way to give you a lot more options uh, when it comes to programming drums. And I feel that it makes things much more quick, and you can get much more creative and much more detailed. So here's the basic setup here. We've got our MIDI loop here that I just made, just a four bar loop. And here I'll just go ahead and play it real quick. Alright, so there it is, just a, a simple part. Basic uh, kicks, snares, hi-hats. That's about it oh, on an operator instrument for sub. So what you're going to do here is you're going to open up this little arrow here. This is going to show you all your separate samples that are in the kit that you have access to use. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to figure out what you want to extract so that you can edit separately. So for me, I want to edit the snare separately. So I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to right click and come here to extract chains. And I'll go ahead and name that snares. I'll do the same thing for our open and closed hi-hats. Cool. And I'll rename that as well. go ahead and close this and now what you'll notice is this drum pattern here has now just simplified to only kicks and the the sub from the operator and it's extracted that MIDI pattern for, from the snares and this here are the patterns from the hi-hats so very cool so the next thing that I'm gonna want to do is I'm going to right click on all these after highlighting them and I'm just going to freeze these tracks. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create three audio tracks. I'll just go ahead and name these. Now I'll just go ahead and name these so I'll do command R to rename or you can do control if you've got a PC. So this will be kick and then I'll hit the tab key snare and the tab key again hi-hats. Great. Now I'm just going to drag each to its own track. And now we've got audio versions of our MIDI files separated, which is very cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut this, hit tab to come over to the arrange window, and on this track here, the kick track, I'm just going to paste that on the first bar. And there, there we go, we got all three. Hit the Alt key and that'll open up all of our files so we can see the audio. So now you can uh, cut your audio any way you want. Um, and what's the difference between audio and MIDI, for example, you can't, if you're editing MIDI, you can't, for example, grab the middle part of your sample and 
duplicate it like so. You, they only have the choice of working from the beginning of the sample unless you actually edit in the MIDI the beginning uh, start point or end point um, decays. And that's a pretty cool thing to do too, but you got with audio uh, a bit easier. Now I'll just uh, mess with the snare a little bit. So I've got that there. I'll, uh, what do we got here? I'll just pull that a little bit and then uh, go to 16th. I'll duplicate that a couple times. And let's go ahead and pull in a um, auto filter. And we'll just play with the volume. So. Here we got this. Uh, this part here and I'll play around with this too so I'll just extend this out a bit yeah probably not that far I'll come to here okay so first thing I'll do is I'll just edit volume so this here. I'll just drop that down a little bit like so. I'll do the same thing over here. And I've really got no goal just uh, playing around to show you an example of how easy it is to edit your uh, drums. Um, and let's play with the filter here so here we've got the filter frequency so I'll go ahead and uh, pull this down a little bit like so so now I'll come into the hi-hat and I know, let's play with a, uh, a chorus a little bit. First, we'll just tweak the, uh, the feedback a little bit. And then I'll... See if I can record here. All right, cool. Going to loop this section here. Just play around. And uh, why not? I'll, I'll grab a little uh, simple delay here. And we'll add on triplets. I'll back up real high. And then we'll mess with the wet dry a little bit. All right, like so. And how about a redux? I'll bring that. I'll just play with the, the down sample here just a little bit. And I'll just do a little edit here. No, 
now I'll just play with the volume, no big deal. Oh. Alright, here's our little that we did just real quick. Alright, so I hope uh, teaches you a little bit about extracting chains and uh, converting your part to audio and pretty much building your drum patterns in the arrange window to make all kinds of wild stuff like that. Hope you enjoy it.